Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. On Roku, look us up. We're in the sports section. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News, the vanity code to add it on the Roku page is one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Same on iTunes. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, according to a report on BoxingNews24.com, right, boxing businessman Rick Glazer is reporting that the Manny Pacquiao-Chris Algieri fight, Pacquiao's most recent fight, only received 300,000 pay-per-view buys. That's a staggeringly low number for a fight as high profile and as well advertised as that fight was. Understand it was such a big event, in quotes, that Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger actually visited with Manny Pacquiao before the fight in his dressing room. It, has, it had all the trappings of being a mega event. But it wasn't. Right? This is Pacquiao's worst showing in terms of pay-per-view numbers in several years. Now it's significant because I know here online, and trust me I've heard you, vocal fans are clamoring for Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. Let me ask a foundational question. We know you're the loudest group. Are you the group making the most economic sense? And isn't there, in fact, some other groups out there who have been in the background who are chomping at the bit for Floyd Mayweather to fight their preferred fighter? Right? Let's talk about it. What should move Pacquiao to the head of the line on Floyd's dance card ahead of people like Miguel Cotto, the middleweight champion, right? Understand, Cotto arguably gave Floyd Mayweather his toughest fight of the last several years. <clears throat> At that time, Cotto was not with Freddie Roach. There are many people who are very impressed by Cotto's work since getting together with Roach. Right? Cotto, of course, beat Delvin Rodriguez. Cotto, of course, beat Sergio Martinez. Now, I've made the case here online that Martinez is one of the more significant middleweight champions in recent memory. Right? Don't think in terms of today. Think in terms of 10 years from now or 20 years from now. If you were to hear that Floyd Mayweather fought for the middleweight championship in his next to last fight and won the title would that be more impressive to you from a legacy standpoint than Floyd Mayweather fighting Manny Pacquiao who let's face it hasn't gotten a stoppage in some time and who lost to Juan Manuel Marquez who Floyd has already beaten Right? Understand, too, there's further cover that Floyd has as historically as to the reason why a Pacquiao fight didn't take place because we know Floyd agreed to a 50-50 purse at one point. Pacquiao didn't want to submit to drug testing, so those, neg those negotiations failed. At another point, Floyd offered Pacquiao $40 million. Pacquiao did not take it. According to some reports, Showtime recently offered Pacquiao $40 million, right? Let me point out, Pacquiao apparently drew about 300,000 pay-per-view buys for his last fight, right? He didn't get paid $40 million for his last fight, and that was promoted by his promoter, right? Pacquiao has never gotten $40 million for a fight, right? According to reports, Pacquiao's people turned down Showtime's recent $40 million offer. Right? So, I understand there are other groups out there. Dubai and other groups are stepping forward with big offers for the fight. My point to you, though, is just from a 
legacy standpoint. Right? Post Juan Manuel Marquez's KO of Pacquiao. Post Pacquiao losing to Timothy Bradley, at least according to the judges, for the first fight. As you look back on Floyd Mayweather's career, and let's be clear here too, Miguel Cotto is a pay-per-view cash cow. A Mayweather Cotto fight is going to generate well north of a million pay-per-view buys. We know that. These guys have already fought already. There's market data. Right? Given all those facts, 10 years from now or 20 years from now, would it be a better star on Floyd's cap? to have fought for and gotten the middleweight championship than it would be, let's say, to have fought and beaten Manny Pacquiao. Right? Let me say also, let's say Floyd loses. Which loss is the Mayweather legacy better able to absorb? A loss to Manny Pacquiao, who he's never fought against, at a foundational weight, let's say 147, right? Or a loss to Miguel Cotto at a weight at which Floyd has never fought, 160, right? Against an opponent who Floyd has beaten already, right? I would argue that a loss to Cotto would be better absorbed by the Mayweather legacy, would more protect Mayweather's legacy than a loss to Manny Pacquiao. Right? The argument if he loses to Pacquiao would be that Pacquiao in Floyd's weight class was the best fighter of the era. Right? Things will get blurred. Head-to-head -head wins and losses blur everything else. The fact that Floyd was unbeaten going into the fight wouldn't save Mayweather from that kind of scrutiny. Right? People would argue, too. There'd be a lot of revisionist history. I personally feel that Manny Pacquiao's never beaten one Manuel Marquez. But people would argue that Pacquiao beat him twice then got caught by a lucky punch. Right? I've heard people here online say Pacquiao knocked him down three times in the first fight, which was ruled a draw. That first round should have been a 10-6 round. Pacquiao, based on the actual fight, should have been awarded the decision. Right? I've heard that argument. So, let's be clear. Also, think about it too. There's no claim that Floyd Mayweather dodged Miguel Cotto in the past. The two guys actually fought. Right? Were Floyd to lose to Manny, there'd be a claim that Floyd didn't want to fight Manny for years. Right? Forgotten would be the fact that Floyd offered $40 million at one point to make the fight happen. Forgotten would be the fact that Floyd offered a 50-50 split with drug testing. That'd be forgotten. The idea would be that these guys didn't fight in their prime, and when they did fight, Pacquiao proved that he was the superior fighter. Right? So, if it comes down to money, just understand that the rationalization for a Floyd-Manny fight in the United States has, been, has taken a hit because of Pacquiao's low pay-per-view numbers of late. I'm mentioning the last fight. I want people to go back and look at the actual numbers from Manny's fight against um, Brandon Rios. Right? Understand, Manny has not been a box office king. Compare and contrast Manny's recent pay-per-view numbers with Miguel Cotos, right? Understand, too, many times we like to talk about the number of weight classes that a guy has been champion in. 
Manny can't give Floyd an extra weight class. Miguel Cotto can. So let's hold our breaths. Let's wait until the official pay-per-view numbers are released from Macau for Pacquiao's fight against Chris Algieri. Let me offer this. You know the numbers were not blockbuster numbers because quite frankly the pay-per-view operators have an idea within days of the fight. You've had other fights where they've told you this is a bonanza. We're estimating that the pay-per-view buys exceed a million. You haven't heard any such statements following the Pacquiao Algeri bout. Right? If Manny Pacquiao is not bringing a box office premium to the table, then I would argue that he's just like any other popular fighter out there for Floyd to fight. Right? Mayweather's goal should be, of course, it's a profession, right? It's professional prize fighting, should be to take care of his family financially, right? Money matters. This is not amateur boxing, right? But it should also be legacy, right? He wants to be a champion who has the resume to show that he belongs among the very best, right? I believe there's some other groups out there apart from the Kodo group, right? And I believe the uh, desire for Mayweather Kodo is being hushed right now, but it's great, right? People want to see Mayweather in a competitive fight, right? Those are few and far between. But I would argue, apart from the vocal Pacquiao crowd and the hushed Cotto crowd that privately believe that Cotto beats Mayweather in a rematch, at least to Cotto who faced Sergio Martinez, understand there is the Amir Khan crowd. Johnny Nelson, a UK boxing analyst, has made the argument, and I agree with him 100%, that Amir Khan style would be a difficult style for Floyd Mayweather. Right? Understand Khan is not one-handed like Pacquiao, he's two-handed. Understand Khan would have the hand speed advantage on Floyd Mayweather. Understand that Khan has length that Manny Pacquiao doesn't have. Right? Understand that Khan, even in fights that didn't go his way, the Danny Garcia fight, the Lamont Peterson fight. Khan started those fights well. Then during the fight seemed to lose his way. The argument is if Khan can just stay the course like he did against Ab Judah, right? If he can just come in and stick to his game plan, right? Be mentally focused and have it, you know, um, end up with some consistency for 12 rounds that he could give Floyd all he can handle. Now I can say this, there's an interview that was posted a few days ago by BoxingScene.com. <clears throat> they interviewed Juan Manuel Marquez. Marquez post the Chris Algieri fight said that he still believed that Floyd beats Manny Pacquiao. Marquez went further. Marquez in the piece, and I strongly recommend you read it, basically says that Pacquiao is open for counter punches, right? And Floyd is a master counter puncher, right? Of course, Marquez fought both men, right? I don't believe personally, and longtime subscribers know this, that Floyd versus Pacquiao is that competitive. I think Floyd wins that fight. But Floyd versus Khan could be. Right? Just think about the jabs of the two men. Manny's jab is really a placeholder for a straight left. Amir Khan actually has a pretty good jab. Right? I understand if you look at the heights, the men are about the same height, but Amir Khan uses length better than Mayweather. 
Raikon theoretically could come in the ring, shoot a jab, keep Mayweather off of him, jump in with an Amber style, throw punches, get back out, and move like he did against Kotelnik, and possibly put Mayweather, who's low volume in fights, low volume but high accuracy, put Mayweather at risk of losing a decision. We also know Khan has pop on his punches. Right? Amir Khan might even, he knocked down Marcus Maidana, folks. Mayweather was in the ring for 24 rounds with Marcus Maidana, never did so. Right? We know that Khan, conceivably, because of hand speed and power, <clears throat> could even drop Mayweather, making the scorecards even more lopsided in his favor. Just as a boxing fan, I'm more intrigued personally by Amir Khan against Mayweather than I am Manny Pacquiao against Mayweather. So let's look at the pay-per-view numbers for Pacquiao's Chris Algieri fight when they're released. If there's not a box office reason for Floyd Mayweather to fight Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao is going to lose a great deal of negotiating leverage. Then we get into a situation where we start looking at other matchups. My point to you is there's some other historical matchups, a Kodo rematch, boxing stylistic matchups, and a Mir Khan matchup that might be more enticing for Mayweather, quite frankly, than a fight against Manny Pacquiao. Keep in mind too, the Pacquiao people, at least with the media, since the Chris Algieri fight, have engaged in a full court press of trying to convince you, Joe Public, that they want to fight Mayweather. Right? Why the urgency now? Is it possible that they themselves sense that the box office rationale for the fight isn't as strong as it once was? Understand, too, that fighters, it's a free country. Fighters get to pick who they go against. Mayweather isn't part of the Bob Arum fan club. Right? Bob Arum is not Floyd Mayweather's favorite person. Mayweather doesn't want to fight in Bob Arum promoted events. Right? Freddie Roach has come out with some, let's just say, um, belligerent statements about Floyd Mayweather. Calling him a shot fighter, but yet not wanting Miguel Cotto to fight him, etc. Right? Mayweather might simply choose a different dynamic. Don't get me wrong, Cotto's also trained by Freddie Roach. Right? But Cotto is a promotional free agent. A fight against Cotto wouldn't necessarily involve Bob Arrow. Right? For business reasons and for personality reasons, Mayweather might well choose options other than Manny Pacquiao if Pacquiao's not bringing more money to the table than the other guys. Now I know I'm going to get a bevy of comments here saying, of course Pacquiao is bringing more money to the table than the others. To anyone who wants to make that argument, here's my challenge to you. Pick the Pacquiao fight out of his last three that would lead you to that conclusion. Right? A Floyd Pacquiao fight would happen in 2015, not 2009. If Pacquiao has a lot of box office muscle right now, present the data. Make the case. I hope you leave your comments here. Thanks for stopping by. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and wiresportsbetting.com.